Point of Falcon fans. Cheers to another season with our beloved Atlanta Falcons. Let's get right into it. Um, from yesterday, we took a loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers, 18 to 10. Very, very physical defensive game. Um, we weren't able to capitalize on things, and we had self-inflicted wounds for the most part. But what I will say is, is a lot of. I will also come out and say that we have. I have, for me personally, I have more questions than answers. But let's get right into it. Uh, for one. We had a game, Kirk Cousins, first game back after tearing his Achilles. Clearly, you can see that he was not 100%. Uh, no hard play action rollouts or nothing. Mostly everything in the pistol, quick handoffs. Uh, pretty much was standing in the pocket, really couldn't make the throws, putting his foot into it. I guess he didn't really trust his leg, or maybe he's not 100%. There's a lot that goes into that. Um... Also, I'm going to add to the fact that, like, uh, the old line play was kind of solid, except for instances where Dorman got bullied. And I, I understand folks have their great with Caleb McGeary, but I want to call, I want to really point out something real quick. Uh, he had a task of guarding TJ Watt. Um, since TJ been in the league, I have not seen nobody that's able to hold him. I've seen all pro tackles struggle against this man. Um, and leaving him 1v1 on TJ all game, TJ more than likely took that as disrespect. So that's why he did what he did. We did nothing to tire him out at all. Um, like, literally, this man, we, didn't, we really didn't run at him to, like, gas him a little bit or make him work so when it came to when it came down to it late in the game he still had energy to be disruptive and make plays um then game for me it didn't feel like we game plan for him as well as we should have like it took close to like the midway of the second half before we started having somebody to chip him I felt like he should have got that way sooner than what he did and like even when they did chip him, though, like, they had Cal Pitts try to chip him, and it was like he he barely grazed the man, you know, put a shoulder into him, do something to get him off his rocker instead of just allowing him just to be dominant and just rush through like he did, like he had been all yesterday. Um, we all talked about how dynamic this offense is supposed to be. But now I saw yesterday more of the same way everybody complained about last year. We didn't really spread the ball around. Ray Ray McLeod had more targets as our receiving core than anybody else. Bijan had 23 tar had 23 touches, and I think Ray Ray had five, and everybody else, everybody else had less than that. So that's a bad look. I still don't understand why we do not get the ball to Tyler Algier, especially in games like yesterday. It was a defensive game. He was moving the ball against that defense. And instead of you feeding him along with Bijan, you just kept Bijan, 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 Bijan. And at this point, like, bro, you for the lose, you could possibly have a dynamic duo at the back position. But you fit to lose that because you're not giving Algier the ball when the man clearly showed y'all he could run the rock. He showed you that his rookie season by breaking the rookie rushing record that we had for so many years. So you have that going. Uh, defensively, strong game. Very strong game. Held on the six field goals. But I'm going to be honest with y'all, it's not where I would like for it to be. And I know folks going to say, you can play about the defense. They on they they forced them to kick six field goals. Yeah, they did. <clears throat> the problem about that is the difference between our defense and Pittsburgh defense. Two and nine on third downs, eight and seventeen for third downs. That that said something. That said something to me. Because if you get more three and outs than not, Boswell will not in field goal range kick them field goals. They're punting the ball. But like I 
said it was a strong showing, showing but in games like that, I, 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 we, I've heard this term, the term so many times. You got to have a bend but don't break defense. And I'm here to tell y'all people, sometimes you need a defense that ain't bending either. Pittsburgh defense didn't bend, hence why they got the win. Um, but I do like what we have going forward. They just have a, we need a better game plan on offense and get guys to be able to execute better than what they did. I do want to point out though, where I have had folks to tell me that we should be able to like preseason don't matter. Well, you see yesterday, guys not playing in the preseason like that that that's something. Because I've seen, there's no way our guys not suited up in the preseason and folks going to tell me, well, it's all right. It's just the preseason. Uh-uh. Now when I look at that Super Bowl, defending Super Bowl champions and their starters on the field during the preseason and knocking some of the rust off and we don't knock none of the rust off us. That don't bowl well for me. Um, also, to add to that, though, like, it's a solid showing. We got a lot more of a uh, season to go, per se. Um, it just, it's a lot. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, I'm starting to have questions about the front office because we watch people complain about Arthur Smith on how the office being ran, but yesterday it looked the more and the same. So now I'm starting to think, like, is it, was it really Arthur Smith or is people being told to do certain stuff? But that's 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 a topic for another comment for another day. So um, overall, these are my thoughts. I probably be a do I probably do a show with somebody to give more of my thoughts on things. But I think it's still a long season. Don't want to do no overreaction Monday and be like, well, the season is over and things like that. I do have certain stuff I do want to say, but I'd rather say it on the show. So just tune in and catch me on one of these lives. And I'll tell y'all more of my thoughts. Y'all have a blessed one.